What's up YouTube, it's Kenny again. I wanted to make a video this morning specifically to talk about Orbital Energy Group, all right? I just listened to the investor call this morning, uh, the Q, Q4 and total 2020 investor call. And I'm just even more bullish on the company after this call, all right? So let's talk about it. First of all, I want to just say that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a truck driver driving across the country researching and trading stocks. And I will not be held responsible for any moves you make in the stock market. Not ever. All right. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel and help us keep growing. Like the video. And let me know what you think about Orbital Energy Group in the comments below. So I apologize for the bumpy road. There's no traffic, but it's a bumpy road. I'm in Iowa, headed towards Aurora, Illinois to deliver here in about four hours. And uh, so it is what it is, guys. So I just finished listening to uh, today's investor call from OEG. And it was really encouraging to me. Now. They did, you know, the, the official consensus is that they did miss on revenue, uh, missed on earnings or whatever. You know, they didn't post a big beat or anything. Stock dropped a little bit. It's working its way back up already. Now, this was kind of expected. Like, I had hoped that maybe they would post some good revenue numbers, some good earnings numbers. But it was kind of expected because, you know, like at the end of last year or at the end of 2019, uh, they were getting rid of the remnants of their electronics stuff that they were doing. They, re, they retooled the entire company, okay? It used to be a company called CUI. And they were kind of trying to do two things at once. They were trying to do the energy stuff, and they were also doing some electronic stuff. Well, they got rid of the electronics part. They, they got a new CEO. They decided to focus on the energy portion of the business. And that's when we started seeing the stock come up. It was sub $1 when they were trying to divide their forces or whatever. But now they have completely revamped the company, new name, new CEO, new business model, and they're focusing in on this renewable energy market, okay? So, there were still expenses in that first quarter related to divesting themselves from the electronic stuff, and uh, they're, they also, like, started... They started Orbital Power, and that still had been ramping up throughout last year, and is still ramping up now. They started Orbital Sol Solar with an acquisition of a company that is still ramping up now. Uh, and then uh, Natural Gas, a lot of stuff, you know, was hit real hard that they were doing because of the pandemic over the last year. Moving forward, they're expecting the solar alone to be to do two to three hundred million dollars in revenue this year uh, that's not including the other stuff that they've got going okay they apparently have a bunch of master uh, service agreements that are recurring revenue coming in uh, it's just looking really good okay and then now they've announced that they're acquiring a company called GTS out of Atlanta that's in the telecommunications sector that does a lot of like engineering and construction for uh, wireless and broadband systems and so they talked a little bit about how that really puts them into the uh, 5G space and so not only do we have uh, orbital power which works on like uh, maintaining transmission lines and construction in that area of like transmission lines and which you know we all know that the grid is is crumbling and the grid is going to have to be uh, updated upgraded and not to mention expanded because we all know that evs are coming and the, the 
grid is going to need to be expanded significantly to support all of that power charging cars uh, and trucks. But uh, so that's orbital power, and orbital power is like ramp, really ramping up. They added a whole bunch of new crews, you know, they're crews of construction crews. So the OEG, you know, they do a lot of construction in these different areas and also engineering. And so they're doing a lot of like total project management in all these areas. Uh, and then solar, like that two to 300 million that they're expecting this year and they're expecting to, for contracts to start rolling in over this coming quarter. Uh, the orbital solar is just really ramping up and that two to 300 million that they're expecting this year doesn't even include the, the ACOM, Black Sun, uh, it's called Black Sun, Black Sunrise Fund. Uh, that doesn't even include that. Uh, they're expecting work on that, which is a one gigawatt contract, basically, to uh, start in Q4 or the beginning of next year. So that doesn't even include those numbers. And uh, I don't know, guys. It's just look, we're looking really good. You got solar. You got transmission plants. You got 5G, and then also they're their natural gas, their gas portion of the business is transitioning and moving into renewable natural gas. And, you know, all of us Hylion fans are big on renewable natural gas, and they're moving into that sector. They've got, uh, they're doing a lot of it in the UK, in their UK uh, orbital gas, and then they've got some kind of contract in California to start doing some renewable gas stuff too. So, you know, I mean, we're just all over this renewable gas infrastructure, you know, which Biden's about to announce his infrastructure plan, you know, all of this infrastructure upgrading and renewable energy, renewable gas, solar, you know, they're in it all and 5G guys. So, I mean, I'm just so bullish on this company. I can't even, like, I can't even, I can't even guys. Okay. Uh, so you should look into them. Go listen to the investor calls on their website. Uh, guys, Orbital Energy, I'm, they're going to they're gonna blow up, guys. I'm telling you, they're only trading around $5 right now. The first time I made money, I bought them at $4 and sold around $9. Uh, and, you know, they were up in, in the $8, $9, 10 range and were up as high as 11 something before this big pullback. And now they're trading around five. So I'm still, I'm still super bullish on them. I really think it's a good investment. And I think it's something that once these infrastructure plans start happening, and once we start ramping towards more and more towards clean energy like they're, and 5G, like they're, they're set up, guys, they're set up to capitalize on all this stuff that's about to go down. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Do it. Do your own research. Go look at the company. Watch some videos on it. Look at their financials. Yes, they're not super. They're not profitable yet, but they're. It's coming, guys. Like these guys are really on a track to capitalize on all of the stuff that's going on right now and the changeovers that are happening, the expansion of the power grid, 5G infrastructure. Like, they're set to capitalize on all this stuff. And, like, I really think, I really do feel like this stock is going to double or better before the end of the year. Mark my words on that now. And, uh, you know, I've seen price targets around $14, $15 that people have on this stock. And, uh, so, I really think it's a great investment. I really think you should look into it. I know that, you know, I've talked briefly a lot about briefly about it a lot here on the channel because I really like the stock. Like when everybody else was dumping money into BNGO, I was dumping money into OEG at that same time when that ramp up was happening. I wish I would have gotten in it a little earlier from that $1 to $5 range, but I like to kind of wait until those initial hype things happen and then see what where it levels out at before I invest in stuff like that. And OEG was where I decided to put my money when all that BNGO stuff was going on. Either one would have been a good call, but, man, I just, 
I really like OEG. And I think you guys, again, should check them out. So do your own research. I'm not held, I'm not gonna be held responsible. I'm not your mama. But I think this is a really good investment for the future. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.